so yeah um keeping up with these trailer reactions i want to do another reaction this one's going to be for the film valerian what is it called <laughs> valerian in the city of a thousand planets so um as you guys have noticed i'm always like looking this way yeah my my screen is this way this is where i'm watching the trailer with you guys kind of like live so if bear with me as i do this a lot all right um but anyway this trailer landed it's got a really good cast i really like the director luke besson now luke besson we know from films like you know the fifth element and lucy he also did the professional so we're gonna be we're from i'm looking forward to this guy's work so he also assembled a really good cast he has uh dane dahan he was the chronicle bad guy i think it was chronicle and he also has Rihanna, so I don't, I don't know. It, it there's like, uh, there's really, really, you know, big extremes and experience of acting, but you know, they're both artists. Let's see how they collaborate and combine this. All, the, I don't know when <laughs> you add Rihanna to it. Last time I saw Rihanna was Battleship, and I can't remember if I reviewed Battleship for the movie blog. I might have reviewed Battleship for the movie blog, but if I did personally. I know I didn't review it well, you know, it, it didn't get a high score. So that being said, I'm really curious about this film. Uh, I'm going to do what I typically do. I'm going to read you guys the synopsis and then we're just going to jump into the trailer. Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets is a visually spectacular new adventure film from Luke Besson. Uh, it's based on a groundbreaking comic book series which inspired a generation of artists, writers, and filmmakers. Now, in the 20th century, Valerian and Loreline are a team of special operatives charged with maintaining order throughout the human territories. Under assignment from the Minister of Defense, the two embark on a mission to the astonishing city of Alpha, an expanding metropolis where species from all over the universe have converged over centuries to share knowledge, intelligence, and cultures with each other. Now, there's a mystery at the center of Alpha, a dark force which threatens the peaceful coexistence of the city of a thousand planets and Valerian and Loreline must race to identify the marauding menace and safeguard not just Alpha, but the future of the universe. <laughs> that's, that's really, it's really intense. I, I mean, like, that's one of the most in-depth synopses I've probably received from a studio in a while. That's, that's really good. I really like that one. So I'll share the pictures and stuff. I think I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I've already shared the images on Facebook. So if you guys want to check out the gallery of images that they gave us, jump over to our Facebook page. I'll put a link to that in the description. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out this trailer. I like Europa. city of a thousand planets. After centuries of peace and prosperity, <laughs> an unknown force wants to destroy all we have created. Agents Valerian and Laureline, you have less than ten hours to find this threat and eliminate it. Let's get to work. Okay. I messed up. 
I did not give this movie the attention it clearly deserves. Oh my god, that looks fantastic. That looks amazing. There's nothing about it I can say that was bad. Did you see the the the, the, the character designs, the colors, the 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 angles, the oh my gosh. The music, that's probably the thing that caught me the most. The music, the music is probably the best repurposing of Coolio's Gangsta's Paradise that I've heard in ages. It was like dint, dint, dint. Dint, 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 dint. I was expecting Coolio to pop up, but <sighs> my gosh, it's just the 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 music and and nobody told me Clive Owen was it this Clive Owen is in this ah oh, man why didn't they put his name in the credits I would have jumped at this a lot sooner <sighs> I got chills. Rihanna wasn't in the trailer. <sighs> what the hell are those robots? Hold on, I think I gotta watch this one again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna take a quick time out. I'm gonna watch this trailer again and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna react some more. What the hell is going on? This guy is busting through walls. Hold on. Okay, okay, you know what? I've got to give this film a little bit more time and effort. All right, this is this is going to be now a trailer analysis and breakdown. We got to look at what the hell is going on in this trailer. So I wasn't ready for this. All right, guys, I really just was not ready. I was expecting, hey, you know, let me put this out there. I'm just going to, you know, start recording some uh, stuff to schedule throughout the week. So there's fewer breaks than what you guys experienced in the past. So this just changed we're gonna add some new content i've always wanted to do some more critical thinking into these trailer analyses so let's get into it so it's based off of a graphic novel shame on me this this is something i should know i know i should know better than this this is that's my fault who the heck is that is that rihanna is that rihanna with like face paint because like i i, I kind of remember like when Zoe Saldana undergoes the face paint for like either doing Gamora or even back when she was doing in uh, uh, Avatar, she was kind of like unrecognizable. But you know that perfect, perfectly symmetrical face. You know it, it kind of stands out. You got, I gotta wonder, is that Rihanna? Maybe that was her. What, what, is, what are these underwater creatures? Wait, 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 wait. This is really Avatar-ish. You know, we've got some blue creatures. we got this underwater city. Oh, why didn't I read this graphic novel? Okay, so back up to the city of Alpha. This, this big, what is this, hub shopping area? Uh, there's so many people. Oh my gosh, there's so many people just crowded here what what is their purpose is this like a prison planet is this like just the way that society is is this like a hub where people go and shop like nowhere out of guardians of the galaxy or is this like blade runner and this is just it this is just the way things are or is this like Coruscant in, in the star wars and this is I, mm, so much inspiration that's obviously drawn from so many different things to create these aesthetics the colors the the neon lights everything about it i really really like the design choices with this than the color palette that they put in place i really like the attention to detail that they put to add the layers of the background everything looks so dense like there's no sunlight you can see like light coming from the ceiling but you don't know where that light is coming. oh it's so artificial it's so cool and then there's this guy like look at his eyes look at the character design he, they draw so much inspiration from some of the different designs that we already know but they still find a way to make something wholly unique in and of itself his collarbones like a human that's really some creepy stuff there what, what is that on, that they're carrying what are they eating no so these guys are above and those guys are below. That's kind of like the consensus I'm getting from this. You know, after all these years of peace and prosperity, they've been working together, they're not fighting. Something broke the truce. So these guys have 10 hours to find a threat. There's really not a lot of focus on them and 
probably that's for the best. I really don't care who they are. They're going to have to prove themselves after the fact. They have to set me up with this conflict to sell me on this movie. Now, let's back up and think for a second. There's been a lot of attempts to, like, you know, just throw sci-fi movies at us and just focus on the characters, not really give us, get us really invested in the story, just in their marketing. And that's where they made their mistake. I'm not going to call out any names or specify any films but we know what films i'm talking about the ones that want to be great sci-fi movies they just don't know how to get grab our attention this one's doing a great job what the hell he's breaking through what kind of iron man armor does this kid have where is he getting this yeah, I completely underestimated this film. I definitely should have had this much higher on my radar. I dropped the ball. I com <sighs> that that looked really really good. Uh, wow, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do my homework now. I apologize, guys. I'm gonna go check out this graphic novel. Maybe, you know, it, it goes against my rules of reading before the film comes out, but I'm really interested i'm really excited oh man yeah this one's radar approved if you guys are new here and if you think there's something that i should be seeing that's just as good as this that's also coming out make sure you drop a comment i'll be happy to add this one to the channel let me know what you guys think i should be doing in the next video uh if you want to subscribe and have some say in the impact or the direction of this channel in the immediate future uh be sure to do that and i'll be sure to check for your suggestions uh later on today uh that's all i got for this one guys i'll check you guys later peace